no. There's not many left. Oh, oh no. Many. It looks like she's got a bunch of incisors gone. Uh -huh. oh. With dogs. She didn't care about the cat. In the car. Crawled into my arms. Oh, he's had one deworming. Okay. I think that's about all we know. Is she spaded? That I don't think we know either. Okay. Maybe I'll shift her tummy and see if she has a scar. And she's about eight years old? She's yeah. somewhere between seven and nine, but okay. you can tell us. comfortable with me doing it, but it could just be behavioral too. She was walking funny earlier. Okay. She's not as comfortable as I would like her to be, but she's going to be one of those that I'm going to say possible, you know, that would just kind of watch, watch her, her and yes. see, yeah, you know, if ever, you know, she starts to act a little bit lean, we go ahead and um, maybe get some x-rays done on her or something like that if we need to, but she may be, she may be one of these that kind of iffy back there. Mm -hmm. Aww, you don't have such a sweet little belly. It feels like she has a scar. It feels like she has a scar. I think she was owner owned at yeah. one point. She's just too good not to be. It feels like definitely she feels like she has a scar. It's kind of in the right place. I'm not seeing a scar per se because we usually make it right on top of the umbilicus. But um, but just how it feels here, um, this it just feels like I'm she's yeah. Here. Don't be surprised with these guys. After everything is said and done, nobody has told her. That she has a heart murmur. She gets out there, she's enjoying herself, and you know, and hey, she's she's done well. You know, we we went for a 30 minute walk today, and she's done well. What you have to pay attention to though is how well does she recover, all right? Because with my heart dogs, a lot of the times on their walks and that kind of stuff, they get out there, you know, they're doing fine, everything seems to go really fine on the walk, but it's the recovery phase that they run into the problem, right. all right? The exercise was just in, not enough to push them into a whole crisis, but when they get back home now, there you find that, hey, we came back over an hour ago, and they're still huffing and puffing. The time is still up. She's got about a grade three, which is kind of average. You know, um, I usually grade them all the way up to grade six, all right? She let herself be pushed too far. Right, you right. know, and uh, yeah. you know, eventually, you know, she's probably gonna end up on medication, you know, vet med and maybe some diuretics, that kind of stuff, depending on how she's doing. Um, you know, and she's probably gonna end up being in couch potato mode sometime later in, in life, you know. Don't know how soon, you know, we're gonna have to wait on her to tell. Yeah. But nice thing about her is that the entire time that she's been here, she hasn't done a whole lot of panting, all yeah. right? She's breathing through her nostrils. Um, she's very interactive and stuff. Um, her lungs are nice and clear, which is what yeah. I like. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, I'm going to try to trim those nails yes. a little bit while that xylitol is breaking in there. Hey. Well, let's see if you love it as much as mine. He's not fond of it either. Nobody likes their nails. Quicks up pretty long. They said they oh, just cut them. Yeah, so. that, and I can see that. I, can, I can't take off much at all. The quicks are right, right there. Yeah, you can see the quicks right there. That way. for me, baby. Okay. Side of the neck. Is that you? Yeah, that was oh, me because I, I just am trying to remove <laughs> my dog. I'm trying to remove my face from the scenario because if he slips, my face gets my group. Okay, they're all right. I still think if you go through the uh, airport yeah. stuff. Yeah,